This is another game. This is Simon Lavender, and this is Zauber, Schwert, and Draconai. Now, this is in English as well, D and a GB. Very small little package. They say it's kind of like a board game in a box. Um, I agree, There's you don't really need to speak in it. Uh, complexity, well, you can be the judge of that. I don't think it is really that complex, to be honest. I think it's pretty straightforward, actually. Um, having said that, the loads of comp complex games are what people think as heavy games, but when you get started, it's fine. And hopefully the explanation will be quite swift in this as well. Luck, um, I think there is some luck in terms of what you need, which you'll see. And tactics, yes, I can see why that's of use. And then you have strategy as well, which I think is about right. It's somewhere in the middle. Um, so this comes out like this. Um, I do have an expansion, which is in shrink, which I'll do a full unboxing for. Obviously, just in German on the back. And uh, let's leave that there. So tiny little rule book as well. And uh, these are the cards. So what you need to consider is who wants to start. And uh, you can choose however you wish to do that. But the start player will have that next to them. Then you'll choose your wizard. So let's just say we're playing uh, a two-player game. In a two-player game, you'll see you can benefit from certain things. So you've got um, basically your um, power, your like magic power. I mean, there are specific words that you can use for this. Um, but basically, you have the green player and you have, uh, let's say, the red player over here. Now, um, you don't need blue and you don't need yellow in this game. But because we have enough players, we can actually use uh, this to um, kind of, uh, what's the word? Count victory points. So we can use this to do this. Otherwise, you need pen and paper, which is why that's a bit of a shame. But it's in such a small box, it would make sense. So you shuffle up all the A cards, okay? And uh, then you'll then be putting the deck of all the Bs underneath. And then you'll be putting the deck of Cs underneath that. You're also going to shuffle up these just for the next time you play with these cards. These are the artifact cards. What these cards give you are basically um, symbols. Um, and I'll explain to these when we start drawing them. What you want to do, though, in some instances is match them. Uh, so in this instance, it's worth nothing until they're both matched. Um, but when they are, you can choose to gain basically two of these energy balls Um which are basically victory points, it's kind of powerful things. So I'll explain to those when we get to them, but just showing what's in them. Um, the premise, by the way, is that we are wizards, we're on a cliff top, and we're just battling uh, and practicing our spells, kind of like Harry Potter, trying to practice our magic. So we have quite easy stuff in level A. Um, for example, I don't know really what this represents, but some kind of interesting Gorgon kind of thing. And this is basically telling you how much you need to beat it. And then if you are successful, you get this. If you wish to team up, you can get something else. So I'll keep um, some of the A's hidden, but I'll quickly show you some of the others. So B's will be harder. Sometimes you get these bonus things as well, which I'll come on to. Uh, this instance, uh, similar looking dude, um, but you've got a few more victory points, I think, in that one. Finally, it wouldn't be called uh, this name without Dragons. I got lucky there by having a dragon come up. Costs you more, but you can gain more points. So let's put these A's on here and I'll show you how it works. So it comes in different rounds. It shows you in here how the rounds work. Obviously, it's in German and in English. And um, there are 28 artifact cards, 25 adventure cards, and we discuss them. So we decide first player, let's say this. You then turn over two cards which is this one and this one. So actually we start off with these kind of um, uh, special card, basically, which give you extra abilities. Now the downside of this being a German game is it does only list these uh, specific things in English. Having said that, they do make a very clear sense. So um, these specific things allow you to basically say, right, if you have fewer victory points than somebody else, then you can steal one of their energy and then they would lose one. In this instance, and this is throughout the game, and uh, activate in phase B, and explain the phases in a, in a moment. Over here, you can lose one victory point to gain two energy. The reason you might want to do that is to fight off other stuff. So, Green chooses where he wants to go because we're saying he starts. He goes, yes, I want to go here. 
Um, and let's see what's in terms of table space that works. And Red goes, well, yes, I want to go there too. They then have to spend uh, energy. So everybody starts on two, uh, but in phase, at the beginning of phase A or B, basically you're always getting another two. So Red's like, okay, so Green is now saying they're gonna spend, I don't know, so they spend four. So of course they can't beat it. Uh, Red will get nothing. So maybe Red would rather go here. Now, once it's resolved, then the winner will take their card. In this instance, they say both cards have been taken. And uh, we'll just put them to one side, but you'll kind of see how I mean. And then we do the rest of the resolution. So um, as I said, it's in six phases. We've chosen the adventure. So the new cards come over. That's part one. Part two is getting yourself to um, energy. Phase three is choosing where you want to go. Phase four is obviously who wins them. These are very, very quick phases, by the way. Phase five is you might get some artifacts. And phase six is you change player. So I think they've overdone those stages there. But I just want to show you what happens when we hopefully get out. Oh, let's just show you something better. Right, so in this instance, if you want to go here, then you can gain an artifact card and a victory point. So we're going to use these as victory points. In this one though, you need to have four energy. So imagine red didn't spend four energy. Green has spent all theirs to get one of those cards, but they can now start gaining uh, victory, uh, spending, um, not spending anything in fact, just gaining uh, some of these extra energy by uh, taking it off somebody else. But of course, everyone's at zero initially. So green's like thinking, okay, well I wouldn't mind an artifact card. Whereas red's thinking, okay, well, you can choose much yourself, choose where you want to go. Ultimately, um, you have to declare where you want to go to. They're getting in three. So do they want three or do they want one and thingy? Now, knowing they don't want to be in the lead on victory points, they'd rather go over here. Red also knows this person's got this card, so they're going to work together and just getting one each. So what does this give you? Well, let's say green, uh, actually it'll be the second round. So red will be going first and red has gained this card. And uh, this is just for screen space only. Green has gained this card, not very useful. So this card's now spent. Okay, so imagine these have all been spent. Now, in future rounds, let's see if it comes up. Good. Green is obviously starting. Uh, nothing happened with the resolution. They'll still get some more energy. Um, they can now do stuff. So we knew that they had to spend four to uh, handle this and let's say green did have enough but now red is encouraged to go for this one because there could be more monsters as an example this guy over here now in a way it's a shame actually that the artwork is only limited to uh, this instance two different types of things but if red can go there and fight five in addition to gaining two cards which are more of these cards and three victory points they get a bonus so this means it fights it all off and it gains one victory point because it's fought off a symbol matching the card. And in this instance, it wouldn't matter where it goes, it's still gain one. Whereas green has got this thing over here, it's worth nothing. So it doesn't want to fight anything off. It needs that specific symbol to come up to match it. So it would be, I think that's about three of everything. So actually, same half of it. That isn't... That does match, there we go. And it's got on here, um, two and one, which you might just spot. So at the very top, it's got two and one. So if it can get both of them, it's a bit more of a risk, but the point is it gets two victory points rather than one. And is it worth it knowing that you've got to wait for the other thing? Well, it's a randomness as to obviously if you get it in the first place. Um, so it, as soon as they've got one, they're more encouraged to probably try and get more of these cards to make sure they can get a, a set. Of course, once they do, and of course earlier on in the game, that's going to be beneficial. That's the game. So um, it's pretty straightforward. The idea is basically to uh, balance getting um, energy, to getting victory points. And then the game, victory points uh, is any way you're going to gain any kind of score. And uh, in terms of uh, the scorings and the differences between every player, I would say it's literally only a point or two. Um, and I've played it two players, I've played it three players, and I've played it four players. 
Uh, it takes about 45 minutes uh, spot on and I would say the expansion apparently adds another 45 minutes of play. I don't know what's in the expansion box yet. As I said, I'll be doing an, an unwrapping of it to see what it's like. But that's it, um, a small box, small game, and uh, yes, I'm very curious to see what this is all about. Uh, they've done a number of games in the series, and I think the expansion I've got is the highest rated of the ones available. So if it is that good, in a way, you might not want to consider getting the other ones, but uh, it depends what kind of uh, things it entails and also how good they are. So obviously pretty easy to put away. Obviously you want to randomize how these go away. I do actually have the English prints uh, names for these two, which probably is best sleeved. Um, but with sleeving, you'll have to then put them into a different box, which I do have that deck box, as I mentioned, and I've got that video for it. But it does fit um, well in here. I've chosen not to leave in the, the printouts either. So <clears throat> anything left to do is weigh it. And yeah, it's not really a squeeze, if it's how it came. Arle Spiel. And this came out uh, quite a few years ago now, I think around 2000, yeah, 2003. So tiny box, uh, no wastage going on there. And if you want to carry that around in your pockets, 113 grams to uh, contend with. There you go. Enjoy battling some dragons um, and the steel of those swords. So Draconi is Draconic. Thank you.